Not sure what to expect here. Welcome. Ditto. <laughs> uh, I presume we aren't going to talk. OK, uh, that's it, thank you. <laughs> Good luck. At a time when we are defined more by our appearance than by the within, my identity is not important. It doesn't matter if I am young or old. These are strange times. The world we live in is more connected than ever before. before. However, however, in many ways, as human beings, we couldn't be more disconnected. disconnected. But with hope, we will reconnect and realize we are all the same. The same. We are one. We are one. To demonstrate how powerful we can connect as human beings, as human beings. I need two individuals who have an undeniable bond. Does a connection established in 1989. 30 years ago this very year. Can Ant and Death yes. please join me on this? Uh, okay. There. Take a seat to my right. right. There. And Ant, please sit to my left. No. The wrong way around. Gentlemen, gentlemen, can you both please close your eyes now? Close your eyes now. You must pay close attention to all sensations you may feel. If you felt a touch, please raise your right hand. Now lower your hands and once again pay close attention to all sensations. 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 If you felt a touch, raise your right hand. Huh? And now point to where you felt that touch. Felt that touch. Oh, oh my god. This time, remember how many times you feel a touch. You feel a touch.
If you felt a touch, raise your right hand, raise your right hand. And now with your right fingers, show us how many times you felt a touch. Lower your hands and open your eyes now. Your connection is incredible, incredible. For the ultimate test of connection, please take a pen each. I also have a board for you both. For this to possibly work, let your subconscious minds connect. connect. Begin drawing now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one. When two people are truly connected, the impossible is possible. Ant and Deck, you may open your eyes. Open your eyes. Your connection with each other is truly inspirational. We have just witnessed the ultimate connection. Connection. No way. An undeniable bond that was established 30 years ago in 1989. Wow. That's, that's... Thank you. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> wow, that was freaky. Uh, this is actually electronic accordion. But is there anyone who who has played one of those things that has become a star? Uh, it's going to be me. Okay. It's a good answer. Good luck. Because they are. Awful things. I feel good. Yeah. I feel good. I feel good. And you get that wood. So good. So good. So good. I feel good. His transitions are terrible. Sometimes I feel I've got to get away, I've got to run away from the pain you drive to the heart of me. The more we share seems to go nowhere, and I've lost my life. For I toss and turn, I can sleep at night. Take it, love, come on! Take it, Hello, Alicia. How are you? I'm good. I'm really, really good. I was not expecting to see you today. I've known Kojo for many, many years. Kojo, I'll let you tell my fellow judges about yourself. Yeah, I'm a stand-up comedian. <laughs> um, been doing comedy for 20 years. Um, I've spent most of those 20 years encouraging young comedians and helping big-name comedians and opening up for them. And my new fiance. <laughs> we've, we've got a little boy called Roman, who's here as well. And she said that it was about time that I started thinking about myself and my son. Who makes you laugh? Simon Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. OK, well, look, Kojo, you know the show. Three minutes, do your stuff. Good luck, darling. Thank you very much. Come on, coach! <laughs> really for this. I want a good one. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am a new dad for the first time. But all I want to do is be better than my dad, right? My dad had no patience, right? Me and my best friend, Michael Murphy, after school every day, we'd play football on the estate. 
I had the parent who would ruin that game by calling me inside for something I didn't think was necessary. All you would hear, because I've got African parents, right? my dad would shout like, Kujo, come here. <laughs> now, Michael always had confrontation with my dad. He was like, coach, 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 what's going on, mate? <laughs> the coach, you're a big man, you're 11. <laughs> you go in there and you tell him that this enough's enough. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there was a little part of me that believed in Michael's spirit. <laughs> but then I remembered he don't live in my house. <laughs> so I turned to my dad, I said, dad, what's up? Go to the store and get me Ribena. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is all I said. Dad! <laughs> Can't you get it yourself? <laughs> it was 1 p.m., but it got dark real quick. <laughs> the pigeons weren't even flying anymore. They came down to warn me. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have any jokes, I've got problems. Have you ever been to a bank, right? Because I'm not really happy with the customer services that we get at banks nowadays, right? Have you ever gone into a bank? You've seen four available windows, four! But there's only one person working. Yes. <laughs> then you get the woman that works there who walks past the queue and says, don't worry, she won't be long. Go and help her! <laughs> Why are you out here? You get to the cashier because it's your turn, right? They've now given the cashiers microphones, yeah? So everybody can hear your financial situation. <laughs> I'm right here, I can hear you, right? And I'm already embarrassed about the amount that I need. So I was discreet, right? I was like, can I get one pound 50, please? <laughs> that weren't enough for her. She had to talk into the mic and get into my business. Sorry, sir, you need a pound to keep the account open? <laughs> I'm like, why are you shouting? But I told you, I needed the rest of what was in my account. So I said to her, please, can I get that 50 pence? <laughs> she said to me, how do you want that? I was like, in silence. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was so frustrated that I rushed out of the bank. I rushed out to be greeted by the most creative homeless person I have ever met. He rushed up to me and said, look, mate, I know you're in a rush, but can I please get 20 pence to get something to eat? Ladies and gentlemen, I looked at him and said, you know where to eat for 20 pence? <laughs> I said, mate, I'm coming with you. <laughs> I've got dinner for the both of us. <laughs> when, you, when you're broke, right, and you ain't got no money, there's certain things that you can't enjoy, like a cab ride, right? You can't enjoy the black cab ride, you can't enjoy it, right? I went into a black cab recently, me and my mate, we jumped in. He was getting comfortable. Clearly, he's got more money than me. He was looking outside the window, talking to the driver. He fell asleep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when you ain't got no money, you only look at one thing, the meter. <laughs> oh, good. The experience in a black cab is the most awful thing ever. They charge you before you even speak to the driver. <laughs> you step in, 250. Hold on a minute. <laughs> You sit down, three pound, hey! <laughs> Let's discuss this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's got to a point where I don't even have a destination when I get into a black cab. <laughs> when a driver says, where do you want to go? I say, take me to five pound. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. My name's Kojo, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kojo, when you came on, I loved hearing about how you've grafted, how you've honed your act, how you've now got your little family. Yeah, and the act just got better and better, and then by the end you were like, yeah, I'd pay money to see this man. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Man. I'm so happy right now. 
I've always respected you. My respect level for you's just gone way up there, my friend. And uh, let's see how far you can take it now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, you know, when someone's really funny, there is nothing much to say other than you are brilliantly funny. Yeah. You made everyone laugh. Um, you've kind of got all bases covered as a comedian. You're brilliantly likeable. You've got fantastic observational routines. I think you did yourself really proud today. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hojo. What was quite amazing was I felt that you were nervous. Then I could see the audience reacting to you and you reacting to them. But I'm going to be honest with you, Koja, I don't really like comedians on this show. But I love you. <laughs> I really get it. I have to tell you, I don't know what it is. You are so funny and so unpredictable. You've just got the most amazing energy. This is the break you've been waiting for. Thank you so much. I could not be happy with you. you. Enjoy this. Lovely. You all right, Simon? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very, very well. Lovely good. to see you. What's your name? Sheila Simmons. I'm all the way from Woolloomooloo, New South Wales in Australia. Amazing. There we go. And I love Britain's Got Talent. And I've always wanted to be on the show and I've got something really special for you guys tonight. So I'm Aww. really excited. Oh, Amazing. Sheila, do you have like a day job? Yes, well, Sheila. Day job. Well, <laughs> I perform. I do a lot of bingo calling, 2 and 8, 28. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. I feel like I should give you a word that's original to take the edge <laughs> off, Simon. There we go, let's get one. Let me throw one out for you there, Simon. Catch it. Oh, look at that. We got, we got it. it. OK, Sheila. Sheila yes. Can't wait. Three minutes, change your life, good luck. OK, super. I'm going to run off and come back on because I've got to the problem. <laughs> it's, it's a good entrance. All right, we're ready. from Woolloomooloo. I've come from down under to entertain you. Ever since I saw this show on my TV, it's been a lifelong dream to be on BGT. In the beginning, there was Simon Cow. Then Amanda came along and added some wow. She cries a lot and it's nice to meet her. But come on, Simon, where's Sunita? Sheila Simmons, Sheila Simmons. Sheila Simmons, busy lady. David Williams is always well dressed, but under that suit there's a pink rubber vest. I love Alicia, she was in Mystique. She had a solo career that lasted a week. Well, I bought the album and I thought it was Bonza. Come on, everyone, let's see those hands in the air. Come on, Simon, you too. Busy lady, Sheila Simmons, Sheila Simmons. Sheila Simmons, busy lady. Imagine me, Sheila, in front of the Queen, singing her a song and reigning supreme. So come on, everybody, get up on your feet. It's time to start dancing to Sheila's new beat. You've had four pots, Susan Boyle, diversity. A dog's even won it, and now you've got me. Don't press that buzzer, I'm not ready to go. Sheila's on the BGT show. Bonza! It looks like this is going to be quite dangerous. Okay, One to ten, how dangerous? This is a good ten, yeah. Brilliant. Ooh. Brilliant. I'm excited. Good luck, Jonathan Goodwin. Thank you.
The first person to escape from a straitjacket was Harry Houdini, and it was a feat which he said was the most difficult of his entire career. Tonight, I would like to attempt to escape from a straitjacket for you. Earlier, I met Mr. Declan Dolleny. And I put you in the straitjacket, and yes. I gave you a go, and we filmed it. Can we play that video in? Is that possible? <laughs> yeah, there's not much getting out of that. No, nah, there's not, is there? You didn't manage to get out. It was difficult, yeah? Difficult, uh, impossible. We gave you the straitjacket. You've had that since before you took it off. No yes. one's interfered with it? No. Nope. Well, you get your own back now, because you get to put it on me. You can hold it up nice and high. My arms are going to go inside here, and uh, Janine is going to come and help you do it up. When Houdini escaped from a straitjacket, he would do it hanging upside down, hundreds of feet up in the air, suspended by a single rope. And then later, other escape artists copied the act, but they wanted to take it up a notch. So they would set the rope that suspended them on fire. And obviously they had to escape before the rope burned through. Tonight, I'm gonna kick it up a notch again. Tonight it won't be the rope that's on fire, it will be me. What? I'm going to be doused in fuel, hung upside down and set alight. Let's do this. My only lifeline will be the fire extinguisher hanging next to me. Are you satisfied that I'm restrained, sir? Absolutely. Then your work here is done. Thank you. I'm actually quite nervous for him. Yeah. Oh, my God. He is nuts, you know that. Fire the glow!
did. Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name's Greg. I'm from Clacton. Yeah, and your mate? Uh, Mr. Bones. Um, is this your day job? No, it's not actually. I'm a minibus driver, as that's a... All right, OK. So what's the big dream for you, Greg? Um, I'd like to perform in front of the royal family. Right. And uh, see how far I can get with him. This is his debut performance tonight. Oh, is it? He hasn't played in a pub or, or anything, so... Well, yeah. good luck. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. The dummy's head is the same size as Hello, yours. Mr. Bones. <laughs> How are you doing? I bought you that bow tie. You did, you fool. Anyway, what are we going to do today? We're going to do a song. What about, um, Holly Noise, dear darling? That sounds good to me. Let's give it a go, then. His lips are moving. Dear darling, please excuse my writing. I can start my hands from shaking. Cause I'm cold and alone tonight <laughs> Okay And I miss you Nothing hurts like no you <laughs> No one understands what we went through It was short, it was sweet, we tried <laughs> And when the words break through the wall I meet you at your door What's happening here? But while she's away then I 
gotta do 